After the rise of Teller coin, it been long we saw it trending again on coin market cap. This makes investors question me a lot about Teller crypto because I was all in on the project. The recent silence on Teller made investors to ask questions like, Trader Nay, do you still believe in Teller crypto? Is there still a need to buy Teller? Why is the Teller market down after the first pump? Investors still goes on asking for the price prediction of Teller coin and my reasons for that. In this video, I will answer all these necessary questions but before getting into the discussion, I'm Nay, a crypto enthusiast and investor. Please note that I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say about coins I talk about are from my researches and opinions. So when investing in any coin I recommend, kindly do a little more research to be on the safer side and do not forget to invest wisely. Without much saying, Let's get into the discussion. Teller is one coin which I believe very well. I became a believer on Teller after I gained massively from the pump that happened few weeks ago. Even in this low time, I still believe in it because I know how the cryptocurrency market works and I understand that there are supposed to be good days and rainy days when it comes to cryptocurrency. You should know about this before buying this project. If the price of Teller is low, it means nothing because lately, the global crypto market has been going down as well. Even the Bitcoin and Ethereum are also down in price. This is why I am not afraid of Teller project because it is just following the market which is normal. Talking about price, at the moment, Teller is tr trading at around $50. With the market capitalization of over $100 million, a fully diluted market cap of around $120 million, and a 24-hour trading volume of $10 million, obviously Teller is in a downtrend today but I will tell you for free that this is the best time to buy this project. Rather than complaining, this is absolutely the best time to buy this project because I believe if Teller pumps from here, it can't come down to $100 anymore. Before ending this video, I will like us to dive deep into Teller to know why the project is a good project. Teller is an immutable decentralized oracle protocol that incentivizes an open, permissionless network of data reporting and data validation, ensuring that data can be provided by anyone and checked by everyone. Built for any data type, our network of reporters supports your basic spot prices, more sophisticated pricing specs, TWAP, VWAP, snapshot vote results, or any custom data needs you have. If your data can be verified, Teller can bring it on chain. According to its white paper, the Teller Oracle system is a fully decentralized community focused on securely placing data on chain. The Oracle mechanism works by using simple crypto economic incentives to secure data through staking and dispute mechanisms while the community is bound by a token that utilizes an anonymous governance system and monetary incentives to reward data reporters and the development of the network. Teller pushes the horizon of the Oracle far past arbitrary price data. The Teller Oracle is a protocol for answering on-chain any question of any format. At a high level, Teller is an Oracle system where a bonded set of reporters answer questions on chain for others to use freely. To create a properly incentivized system, Teller mints a native token, tributes TRB. Rewards in TRB incentivize reporters to submit data using both peer-to-peer -peer payments and inflationary rewards. Using TRB, parties can tip a specific question or query. They want to be updated, then reporters can choose whether the reward for fetching the data is worth the cost of placing the value on chain. The security of Teller comes through a deposit of TRB that acts as a bond or stake requirement in order for reporters to participate in providing data. The reporters risk losing this stake if they submit data that is successfully disputed. To become a reporter, an address will deposit the specified minimum bond amount for the chain. Those TRBs are locked, they act as a bond, until the reporter requests to withdraw them. 
The reporter then must wait one week before they can withdraw. Once the reporter has submitted their deposit, a reporter can submit values for any query. After a reporter submits a value, however, they must wait a certain time period before submitting again. This is both to allow time for disputes as well as to increase the number of reporters in the system. Reporters can choose to submit values for any ID they want, but in practice will likely pick the ID with the highest tip. IDs can be updated as frequently as they want. Reporters are rewarded in two ways, which are tips and time based inflationary rewards. All bonded reporters get 2% of tips and time based rewards. Time based inflationary rewards are a growing amount of tokens that resets after each mining event. Teller governance is used to settle disputes. The Teller governance system aims to balance the voting power amongst various members of the community, specifically, holders, reporters, users, and the team. TRB stakeholders all want Teller to continue to grow, but the approach and needs of each group can be different. Each of these stakeholders' categories are weighted equally. However, users and reporters can increase their voting share within their user and reporter categories based on their system participation. For Teller, there are four groups of stakeholders identified in the Teller system. These include Teller holders, reporters, users, and team. Within the TRB holder category, Holder weights are measured as the balance of TRB on the chain where the vote is taking place. For reporters, each submitted data point affords them additional non transferable voting power weighted at 1 TRB per successful submission. However, reporters must be actively bonded to be able to vote with their allocated non transferable voting power. Users are weighted by the number of tips they have paid into the system. The team's multi-sig wallet acts as a tiebreaker and helps protect the integrity of the system in the early days but can and should be forked out as the network matures, when there are sufficient reporters, users, and holders to provide checks and balances among themselves. It is important to note that Teller can be deployed on multiple chains. Although the main Teller token is staying on the Ethereum network, users or the Teller team can launch Teller on any chain. However, the governance, dispute resolution, of that specific chain would be controlled by the stakeholders on that chain and inflationary time-based rewards only exist on Ethereum. According to its monetary policy, Teller utilizes a fixed minting policy to incentivize reporters through time-based rewards and protocol improvements and maintenance. This can only be changed through a fork. According to its security, security is achieved through Teller's architecture, which uses a simple bond dispute mechanism to source correct values. Ultimate ownership and security in the system are afforded by our governance contract, in which the team aims to align incentives from holders, reporters, users, and the team. Finally, according to its use cases, the new Teller system, with its expansion to arbitrary data types, works as an oracle for any piece of off-chain information. The specific structure of Teller, with its lack of finality and ambiguously defined data points, makes it a unique oracle and one that is not fit for high-speed values needing instant accuracy or trusted endpoints that are not open to any reporter. Without much saying on the details of the Teller coin, let's take a look at Teller's recent performance. Over the past few months, the Teller has experienced some volatility with its price moving in response to the market trends and broader crypto sentiment. This is the end of the video. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and invest wisely. Thanks.